And before I got into the actual creating of C Sharp in UWP um, to solve our problems, I first want to do this video where we defined um, why we're doing UWP. So there's a lot of good reasons to do UWP, um, but there's also a lot of good reasons to use the other incarnations of C Sharp. The three biggest ones I would say are WinForms, WPF, and UWP. There are a host of other ones because I used to do a lot in Unity, uh, which is its own brand of C Sharp. There's WinUI. There's a lot of good stuff out there, but I'm going to just talk to these three basic ones. And I'll, I look at it in, in different ways. Um, so the first way is uh, how to program. Uh, I cut my teeth on WinForms, and WinForms came out, and it was, I think, the very first C Sharp, which basically what I meant there is that back then, we just, anything kind of went, and we just tried to get things done and work. In fact, that's, unfortunately, that's still where where I'm at. Um, so you try different things, and I think WinForms kind of supported that. Just we're kind of playing with the ideas and just letting, seeing what you could create. Um, because it's older, it's uh, it doesn't have all the modern cool stuff on it, so its abilities are a little less. And I would say it's probably not so secure compared to WPF and UWP. Uh, WPF was kind of the first of the more modern mentalities in terms of C Sharp. Now, instead of anything goes, you kind of have, we got to make sure we limit all your possibilities until the only thing you can do is succeed at your programming. Or at least that's the way, kind of the way I think of, of modern programming is it's not so much worrying about what you can do as not doing a bunch of things wrong. Because in nowadays, with security and all these errors and stuff, et cetera, you kind of make sure that you don't screw up like you know you have a memory leak and, and things of that nature and i think the more modern programming languages all kind of subscribe to that even if they don't really think about doing that when they're, they're being made uh, wpf i always feel is like made for the hardcore programmer so they're very serious uh they have a great community, but the problem with being serious is sometimes they're too serious. <laughs> so I, I like these guys because I do work a little bit in WPF, but not a ton. Uh, but, you know, sometimes they're, they're the ones who will have the strict rules and, and make sure you don't do something stupid, which is good, which is good. But sometimes it can make them a little less fun than the WinForm guys. Uh, the UWP is actually the modern, modern way of doing it. So WPF came up first, and then UWP came after, and it looked like it was going to take over it. They're trying to limit errors and kind of get you to do robust programming. But it's also kind of linked up to the Microsoft machine, so it's got good ideas on how to pass your stuff on to modern technologies. Uh, I picked it up because at the time I thought uh, Microsoft might get rid of WPF because it seems so odd that it would come so so quick. Because it turns out WPF is very strong still, and a lot of people are still using it. And like I said, their community is so is so good that I, I don't know if they'll ever let it die. But when I first started, I thought, oh, no, this WPF might be going the way of XNA, which is uh, still around. It's just not supported officially by Microsoft. now. It looks like Microsoft is going to try to hold on to all three. Um, and in fact, the, from what I've been reading, they're going to try to essentially call UWP their, their way of programming. But it sounds like they're going to try to start dovetailing WPF in. It's hard to say. But if you look at what the modern UWP is, they got WPF functionality. They got the .NET libraries, which is comes from the WinForms legacy. And if they keep Microsoft, if they keep the Microsoft store open, they have to keep parts of UWP. Uh, the, the publishing is just so easy from UWP to the Microsoft store. They want to do that. So uh, I don't think they can get rid of the UWP without getting rid of the Microsoft store. Well, let's go over some of the pros and cons from the programming standpoint that might help you pick out one of the, one of the three. Uh, I'll start with WinForms again. The pros 
It's good, especially if you're doing legacy stuff. There's a lot of WinForm stuff out there. It does the old, good old traditional .exe. Um, so if you if your company is using that, I would stick with it. It's less for blows. I find that um, typing a program seems to be, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15% less typing. <laughs> What do you do, WinForms versus like the other two? That's kind of cool. Uh, it's very well, it's probably the best documented of the three, and it's it's definitely the most understood of the three. One of my critiques I heard of it once when I was talking about why I liked it, the, some one of the guys said, it's for white beards, uh, which is kind of sad because I am growing white in my beard now. That essentially meant we're trying to hold on to the past that, that doesn't really need to exist anymore, uh, which is it's kind of true. Uh, you don't need WinForms anymore um, because these other two guys pretty much encompass what WinForms can do. Uh, and there's a less built into it, especially it, it's actually really easy to make stuff on the interface. But the problem is, is that these kind of XAML or XML parts of it don't exist. Um, so they're a lot harder to create via code. But for creating something really quick and easy, it is the best. As far as WPF goes, uh, the pros are, like I said, it's got a good UI system and it's kind of very user friendly with the UI system, especially if you're going to code the UI. Uh, as opposed to design it on a stage, so to speak. Uh, graphic designers will understand that. Most graphic designers would love to use WinForms. Um, but, you know, WPF and UWP both separate out very well the interface versus the coding behind it. UWPF and UWP aren't so good in terms of if you kind of have that artistic design ability. They, they don't work as friendly. WPF, to go on with its pros, uh, still, like I said before, has a great community. It's got excellent speed. Um, so it might be the most efficient of it, although it does take a high memory requirement usually to run its type of programs. One of the other, I would say, negative things for WPF uh, is sometimes it can be hard to create for modern machine. And this kind of goes with the WinForms as well. Um, both of those guys were meant to kind of be, have like an intermediate step to take them and put them on another machine. WPF has done a lot to jump that gap, but uh, UWP, I would say, is probably most likely to be multi-platform, which brings us kind of to UWP. Uh, the pros are it's got the most tools, again, for porting. I like it. I think it's got the best SAML meaning it's better than WPF. The WPF guys might, might take exception of it. The cons for UWP would be it's um, the newest, which means it's been not only the least documented, but the least tested as well. So we're still kind of like finding out these little bumps as we, as we program. And um, just kind of getting good information about it can be kind of frustrating because sometimes you think you understand something and you're kind of relying on the first person to, to talk about that kind of stuff. So you, you get there and you say, oh, this person said this about UWP, and they kind of take it as gospel. I suggest all three. Uh, like I said, I if I were to pick one for you guys, I would say first, where, where are you going to use it? You know, who's going to use it? If you're working for somewhere, see what they're going to use and where, where their future lies. Even if you're thinking about working for someone, think about what type of programming languages your future employer might use and go with it. Help that pick. The second thing I'd say is personality wise, because uh, you can always find jobs in all three of these areas. Like I said, WinForms is kind of like the fun programming where you're doing legacy, WPF. If you're going to be serious, hardcore, UWP, if you're going to do modern and try to get things out in kind of that modern world kind of atmosphere and kind of balance serious programming with quality content and UI. And I hope this helps. I don't want to be a, a public spokesman because I don't know if I'm fully qualified for that, but I certainly like to juggle all the ideas and debates about these things because it's just an interesting topic. Okay, well, thank you for listening. We'll hopefully see you on the next video. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. 
If you'd like to support us in other ways, our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the Microsoft Store. See the links below. We appreciate your support. Thanks.